Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So let's start with something called fundamental or basic counting principle. Of course, of multiplication. So what does it say? It says that if task A can be performed by task uh, by can be performed in M ways followed by task B which can be performed in N ways then task A followed by task B will be performed in M multiply by N ways. This is product multiplication. So it says that if task A can be performed in M ways, so let me make them clear. So you have a task A which can be performed in M ways followed by the task B. Uh, this is task B which can be performed in N ways. So you are doing first a task uh, which is A and the A can be performed in N dif M different ways uh, followed by B another task which can be performed in N ways then if you are doing uh, together A followed by B then you can do this task in M class N ways people also state this in the following way and they say that so people state this in this way they say that suppose that two experiments are to be performed so previously i wrote that previously i stated that i had two tasks task a followed by task b now it says that suppose we have two experiments instead of are in place of two tasks and it says that suppose two experiments are to be performed then experiment one if then if experiment experiment one can result in any of m possible outcomes and if for each outcome of experiment one there is n there are n possible outcomes of experiment two then together uh, means both of these tasks are both of these experiments there are m by f m multiply by n possible outcomes of the two experiments so it says that suppose you have experiment one let's say i am writing this way experiment one and there is experiment two okay so i'll say this way like there are m possible outcomes for this experiment okay so suppose the outcome is one then it says that for experiment one if experiment one can result in any of m possible outcomes and for each outcome of experiment one so there are let's say m possible outcomes one two three four five six till m so these are m possible outcomes of experiment one and here it says that if for each outcome of experiment one 
this one each one two three four each outcome of experiment one there are n possible outcomes of experiment two so along with every each of these there are n possible outcomes of experiment two so this will be uh, thought in this way that with one i can have one so with one this outcome one i can have two this is coming this part is coming from experiment two so i can have two with this one i can have three from experiment two like i have performed experiment one and one is outcome so with this one i can have n possibilities of experiment two can be one two three or it can be four blah 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 till n okay so this in this way for this one also two the suppose outcome of experiment one is two then with this two experiment two can be one experiment two can be two and experiment two can give three so on experiment two can give n as an outcome this process will go on till let's say suppose uh, if there is m this one as an outcome from experiment one then uh, it can be combined with one from experiment two or it can be combined with two with three till m n so now you can realize that there are m rows and n columns so how many entries are there total so total entries uh, are not difficult to say that these total entries and this experiment the results of this experiment total together are m n m multiply by n entries in this one so there are m multiply by n entries total possible outcomes so there can be any of these outcomes if uh, we are talking about together of these the result of togetherness are performing together both of the experiments so out of these m multiply by n anyone can be outcome so outcome could be two three outcome could be three four five nine blah 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 uh, so this is really the proof of or you can say the sketch of proof of this this result so it simply says that if a task can be performed in m ways followed by another task which can be performed in n ways then together uh, we can perform the both tasks in m by n ways or you can uh, say that if you are making two experiments and one experiments uh, has m possible outcomes and for each outcome of experiment one there are n different outcomes of experiment two then together we have m multiplied by n possible outcomes so that was all about this result now let's let's do some examples so here is one interesting example it says that a small community consists of 10 women each of whom has three children if one woman, woman and uh, one of our ch children are to be chosen as mother and child of the year, how many different choices are possible? So we are actually performing two experiments and the experiment one is really selecting a woman and uh, how many possible outcomes are there for women? These are 10 so m equal to 10 this is the experiment first you can say that and uh, for each uh, woman we have three children so n equal to three uh, in other words the task two or the experiment two can be performed in three ways so the total different choices that are possible for this particular experiment are together doing these both tasks you will just multiply these 10 into 3 by using basic counting principle you get 30 okay i hope that makes sense you are going to find uh, some more examples uh, related to this concept in the next videos